Hi cuties! I'm so 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 excited about today's videos because it's a compilation of the best DIYs that I made. I hope you like it. Let me know if you prefer like a longer video with more projects or if you prefer the shorter one that I usually make. Let me know in the comment down below and let's sprinkle some cuteness in the world. It's what you do making me feel like I'm falling. This is a plastic bottle from a two liter milk. Cut it as I did and then get your fantastic awesome glue gun and glue your favorite fabric. I got this fabric from my mom and it's so cute guys it makes seriously the cute, cutest <laughs> purse ever and as you see in the beginning I put some um, toys of my son and he loved this purse but of course you can make it you know you can use a different fabric and make it for an adult version of it anyways it's so cute and I love 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 upcycling stuff do you like it guys let me know in the comment down below After gluing the sides, glue the top and the bottom as well. If you enjoyed the vibe, like and subscribe!
after gluing the fabric, I'm gluing this cord first at the bottom and then on the sides of my purse. The last step that I highly suggest you don't skip will make your purse look way more finished and is take a piece of the same fabric and glue it as I'm doing at the bottom of your purse so you're actually gonna hide the cord at the bottom so this is what I'm doing I put some hot glue at the bottom and then I'm pressing the fabric on it and then just cut the fabric. And now I put some like cut tissue paper at the bottom and I'm putting just some toys of my son to show you how it looks. And you can use this purse really just to store your stuff but isn't ever as a, as a gift basket. I am really in love with this project guys. I think it's super duper cuter, seriously. But doesn't matter what I think. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think if you like it. I have this beautiful candle vessel and the first step is to secure your wig at the bottom of the vessel. For this project I'm using a wonderful fragrance which is strawberry champagne. I put 8% in my wax which was already melted and now I'm pouring my wax into my vessel. Let it completely set and then get your heat gun and melt the top so you can put your embed on top. I already had this hard little heart embed and I'm putting four on top of my candle.
I really wanted to make a cute, super duper cute uh, label and I made this label with Canva, printed it on a sticker paper as you can see and I'm placing it in front of my candle. Okay guys, for this project you're gonna need two toilet paper rolls. Cut one exactly how I'm doing and then get your hot glue gun and glue one at the bottom of the other one. Cut the excess toilet paper roll and so you're gonna make, this way you're gonna make the base of your super duper cute basket. Then get your glue gun and get a cord and start gluing the way I'm showing you right now on the toilet paper roll. When you're done with the base of the basket, start gluing the cord all around. Now I'm cutting, as you can see, my toilet paper into pieces, how would you say? <laughs> and I'm doing this so after we can start making our handle for the little basket. If you enjoyed the vibe, like and subscribe. Continue gluing the cord around the base and then you see when it's time you can start gluing the cord around one piece of the toilet paper part as I, as I said that will function as the handle of the basket.
so this is the the basket coming together and now you have all this little part of you know the rest of the toilet paper roll and just cut the excess Now that we made our basket, it's time to make it even cuter. And the way to do that is get your glue, your Mod Podge, get some yarn. I got this super cute, what is like a light blue yarn. And I'm just putting it in, in between the, the cord of my basket. Do the same thing for the handle as well. Now that we finish with the string, we basically I'm cutting a piece of um, cord to put at the very, very uh, tippity top of the basket. So yeah, one side and then the other side. So it gives a more finished look. Now it's time for the fun part. Get your super glue and be very careful and apply. I'm applying this super duper cute Polly McClay miniature and I'm choosing the, the flower ones because I thought, you know, for a basket would look very cute. We have some little flowers on it. And so I'm applying some colorful flowers to make this basket so adorable. The very last part that I'm doing that you can skip, of course, but I don't know, I think it looks better. I'm getting my, my glue and paint it inside of the basket and then I'm getting some tissue paper and just put it inside. And the reason is this way you can't really see the, the toilet paper roll, you know, because otherwise you can see, you can actually tell there's a toilet paper roll, you know, that's what I mean. So I'm just putting this tissue paper. And this is the end result, guys. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. And it's perfect, you know, for what? For putting my glitters. Okay, guys, this project is so much fun. Get a rock a wooden popsicle stick and a wooden peg. Then start painting with white acrylic paint all three of them. Glue, 
with a hot glue gun the stick to the peg and then the stick to the rock. Get your glue and start painting the rock. And then it's time to sprinkle my favorite glitter. <laughs> One of my favorite. This light blue, look how pretty it is. Looks like the ocean. Now I'm painting with glitter the stick and the peg and I'm gonna sprinkle the beautiful bright pink glitter. If you like the vibe, like and subscribe. To get the result that you want, do as many layers as you need. Just remember, let it dry between layers and always do a final layer to seal everything in. And there you have it, a super duper cute and very very glittery <laughs> photo holder.
this is the glass I'm going to use and I'm securing the wick at the bottom of my cocktail glass. I'm using an amazing fragrance, pink champagne and exotic fruit. I've put 8% of fragrance oil. I already melted my wax and I'm stirring for two minutes. It's time to color my wax and be careful because at least my color is, uh, <laughs> as you can see, very stainy, <laughs> if that's a word, but it stains a lot. <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm doing something different this time. I'm uh, putting some drops of color at the bottom. I wanted to make my candle even more creative. Let me know guys in the comment down below if you like it. I put five drops of pink. As you can see, I'm swirling around the, my glass. And then it's time to pure my wax. While the wax is still hot, just get a metal rod or how you call it, just to move around the, the candle dye. My candle is all set and it looks so pretty. Now it's time to melt the top with my heat gun and I already have this embed which has two strawberries and I'm placing it on top of my cocktail candle and look how pretty it is I love it it's what you do Okay guys, so this project is really easy and fun to make. The first step, get a heart shape sticker or whatever you have. <laughs> and I'm tracing this heart into a piece of cardboard. And that will be the base of my super duper cuter decor. Once you have your cardboard heart, Get your hot glue gun and start gluing your cord all around the heart. When you have done the front, do the same for the back. Cut the excess of your cord. And now it's time to paint my heart. I decided to go with this beautiful bright pink, but of course you can do whatever color you wish. And yeah, just paint the front and the back. When everything is dry, get your super glue and glue your string to the heart.
And the last step is to paint your Mod Podge or your glue on top and sprinkle your amazing glitters. Do one side, let it completely dry and then turn the hat and do the other side. And always remember to do a last layer of sealant so you're not gonna lose your glitters. If you enjoy the vibe, like and subscribe. Don't forget to do the sides as well. And there you have it, a super duper cuter and very very glittery heart decor. It's what you're doing, making me feel